I know I have my do-rag and everything that that's because I'm trying to lay my head my head I'm trying to lay my hair just just a little bit that's why I have this do-rag on so if you can ignore it for right now but let's get into the face prep and doing the makeup today what I'm doing is I think I already said that in the intro but I'm going for a soft glam type of look so I'm gonna use my primer if you've been here for a while you would know that this primer from Tease Cosmetics mm, amazing it's literally the best I'm gonna use that so I'm gonna do my contour. My contour does look a little messy, but this is a Thread Beauty Face It Complexion Stick. This is in the shade 240. If you're getting a contour product, you wanna get one that works with your undertone as well. Make sure that it does have, if you're warm, it has a warm undertone, neutral undertone if you're neutral, and you know, and so on and so forth. So make sure that every base product that you have in general has an undertone that works for your skin okay not just foundation and oh i'm using the elf buffing foundation brush i like the make of this brush it makes it easier for me to blend my contour product so that's what i'm using so next i'm gonna go in with my concealer i'm using the lancome tian e doll this is the ultra wear concealer in the shade 560 and see how close that is to my skin shade that's why i love that but it does have a little bit of like an olive undertone so even though i'm telling you to find a good undertone for yourself i'm let me just say that these concealers are really really good in my defense they're really good then i'm just going to use a beauty blender to blend that out because again this is sort of like color correcting and concealing at the same time next i'm going to go in with my blush from fenty beauty i love this blush and then this brush that i'm using is just a brush from wet and wild it's an angled brush from wet and wild and with your blush you always want to start on the highest part of your cheekbone drag it all the way up you have to always make sure that you're layering your blush right above that contour and then also make sure that it marries each other make sure that it's merging with the contour and not just like sitting on top of the contour Next, I'm going to go ahead and highlight with the same Lancome Tiani Doll Concealer, but this is in the shade 470. This is much more lighter. I love this concealer. The formula is just so beautiful. The undertone for me is 10 out of 10. It eats every time, okay? It's such a good concealer. Let me just say that. And whenever you're blending your concealer, you always want to start with the outer areas before you come to the inner corners and see how when I get to these areas of my face I turn the beauty blender over and then I use the parts that doesn't have so much product just so I can diffuse that product because if you're using the same area you're going to be dragging the concealer all the way into this area which you don't want to do so and then I'm gonna go back in with my contour brush and just blend that back out Making sure that I don't have any hash lines. Sometimes I can even just go back into the contour product and reapply just a little bit because, you know, we always want to make sure that everything is looking good around the perimeters of our face so that you don't look like you have two different skins, you know? So always keep that in mind. Going back with my blush brush just to make sure that my blush is still showing through and the concealer is not stealing everything away. Next I'm going to go in with my foundation. I miss using this girl. She is my true, true girl. Lancome Tien Ido. It's giving a Lancome, a Lancome face right now. Okay, so I'm going to go in with their foundation. I'm going to use my beauty blender today just because I do want a much more softer look. And always don't forget your neck, your ears. Nobody's saying to pump foundation in these areas, but just make sure that you're blending out and dragging them down in these areas, okay? Especially if you're like me who has a darker neck from your body and your face. Like my face, look at my body. Yeah, and look at my neck. And look at my face. Like my face and my body is almost the same and my neck is just, I don't know. So one tip that you want to keep in your pocket is that you want to get a setting spray and whenever you finish your clean products like this before you go ahead and set with your powders and everything set with the 
spray sex with the sex and spray okay it works like magic oh it's giving skin Oof. okay now i'm gonna go in with another true girl of mine this is the laura messier setting loose setting powder now what you i want you guys to take just take a second here comment below in the comment section what new makeup product you want to see me try what new makeup products you want to see me review be it blushes be it powders anything that you think you want me to try out comment below because i'm actually looking for suggestions i feel like i do makeup but i don't really be i don't really be knowing the trends in makeup like that i be minding my business you know what i'm saying um but comment below if you're if you know what's new and what's hot and you want me to tell you if it's good or not comment below i could get it for you i could do that okay Oh, that's a load of powder, oh my goodness. Oh, it's actually, that's actually pretty. Use that powder, girl. This is your tip to use that powder. Oh, we love, we love, love, love a good base. Goodness, give me 17 of them right now. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty. Um, this is your Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder in the shade 495. That's going to be setting my contour. So next I'm going to do my brows. So this is Thread Beauty's 3-in-1 Define It Brow product. And then I've also been using this LA Colors. I also have another one from NYX. The thing is, it has a super tiny tip that makes it easy for me to like get the precision that I'm looking for when it comes to my brows. So I'm going to start off with my brow gel. I just like to use my brow gel to sort of like place my brows or like shape them and make sure that they're sitting right and then i can just go ahead and fill it in in the direction that it's already laid and then thread beauty's pencil i'm gonna use that to outline my brows i do like me a bit of an act brow and a bit of a bold brow i like my brows to be seen um, I am not a soft feathery type of brow girl, so if that's what you're looking for, it's not here. Just saying. I am just saying, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my brows with my Sephora concealer. I'm gonna use the same Lancome concealer that I used to prep my eyelid. And then to blend that out, I'm using this brush from Real Techniques. It's their RT421 brush. It's a concealer blending brush. I'm going in with this palette from Ace Butte. It does have like a range of colors that you can use for both daytime and nighttime. And that's why I like this palette. Like I feel like it's a palette that I'm going to keep around for a really long time. So the first shade that I'm using is this, is this shade right here. It's called Sacred. And I'm going to use that right in the inner corners of my eye, right here. So just packing that in the inner corner and just also blending it out. And then next, there's this beautiful shade that I have seen in this Lancome palette. So Lancome sent me a few products and this palette was in there. It's such a small palette, but it has really nice like essential colors. Like look at that and the color payoff in here is so beautiful okay so i'm gonna go in with this brown shade right here and then i'm just gonna put that right on the outer corner of my eye look at how beautiful that brown looks i'm just doing circular motions that's one thing with eyeshadow if you want it to blend out you definitely want to go in circular motions i'm gonna go back into the ace beauty palette and use the dark brown shade in here which is called haze this is way more deeper pigmented type of brown and then i'm just gonna go back in with the sacred shade just like put that right back in make sure that you know that is still popping in the inner corner I don't know why, but as of late, I've been loving the combination of having like a bright inner lower lid. I feel like it just complements my eyes a lot better than just like having that whole area dark. I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner. This particular eyeliner is from Pier Nova. It's a brand that I haven't really come across, but this stuff is nice, so I guess they're good. For mascara, I'm gonna use a combination of these two. I have Lancome's mascara. And then before I use that, I'm gonna use this Dior Show base mascara, sort of like a mascara base. 
I'm gonna go ahead and bake with my powder from Hyde. This is my translucent powder from Hyde. It's a thing that I didn't actually like baking a few years back. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. This is literally my favorite step, plus doing my blushes, but it is my favorite step. One of my favorite steps in doing my makeup is baking my under eye. It gives me a nice, bright under eye. It gives me a long lasting, uh, when I say long lasting, I mean long lasting. This is what gives you that long lasting, smooth, you know, just ultra fine finish this this it does it for me every time okay it's gonna eat gobble 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 every time so now while that's sitting i'm gonna go ahead and do my blush i do have a blush layering technique let me put you girls on okay i have like a cocktail blush situation that i do i'm gonna start off with this house labs blush in the shade watermelon bliss this is hands down my favorite blush of all time i'm gonna place that like look at that beauty and then you guys have seen the girls talk about it and okay it's good it definitely is more powdery than the house labs blush house labs is my favorite every single day i'm going to recommend house labs blush love like oh the texture formula everything beautiful this blush is just gorgeous but this one as a top-up blush hear me out as a top-up blush it eats it does it's definitely more orangey this is in the shade had butter i am gonna use that right above the house loves blush usually what i do is i sit it right on my cheekbone right here because you know why it's orange and it's gonna pop and the best area to make it pop is an area where you already have some highlight going on my cheekbone is already a high cheekbone when i put that orange on top of that house labs blush it's going to sit and it's going to eat and it does every time you see you see you see that cocktail going on yeah mm -hmm. and it does have a little glow to it so see how the house loves is sitting it's beautiful by itself but look at a combination of that mm -hmm. immediately yes immediately yes now I'm gonna go ahead and dust off this powder. For lip liner, I'm using this lip liner from Lancome. I'm gonna go in with Huda Beauty's Lip Contour 2.0 and I'm putting that in the center. I have a new lipstick from Lancome that I have to put you guys on. This stuff right here is about to take the internet by storm let me just say that it's their new lip balmy lipstick and it's so good goodness you guys so this is in the shade million dollar berry it's definitely out of my comfort zone but i'm keeping it because this year that's exactly what i'm doing if it's uncomfortable that's what i'm gonna do okay i love it i'm gonna go in with my setting spray from makeup forever and then just go ahead and spritz my face away so when i say i'm setting my face i set my face okay i drench my face and then i dry it down with this <laughs> okay you guys but this is the final look she's demure she's mindful she's soft okay she's blended out if you do want to recreate this go ahead and do it and tag me in any photos or videos that eventually you do but also comment below if you have any questions if you have any type of looks that you want to um you want me to recreate please go ahead and comment below and let me know i sure will do that for you and like i said in the beginning if you have any products that you think i should try out a girl is itching uh, to review okay so write it down and I'm going to go to the store, pick it up, do a review for you and let you know if the product is good or not. So com comment below, let me know, follow me on Instagram if you don't already do that, Akusia Benhene. On Instagram right now though, it's Miss Akusia Benhene because hello, like hello. <laughs> <laughs> but on Instagram right now, it's Miss Akusia Benhene. So be sure to follow me. And on TikTok, the girl is trying to grow her TikTok platform. So you guys go out there and follow me on TikTok. 
I do all just literally the same thing beauty content lifestyle content you know a, a lot more me I feel like I'm bringing more personality on TikTok for sure just like you guys would get on here if you're on my YouTube you obviously know me me if you watch my vlogs you know uh, but follow me on TikTok if you don't already do that I love you guys thank you so much for always coming back see you in my next one oh my jewelry is from Amazon I will tag them my Amazon storefront is always gonna be linked in the description but my rings and my earrings and everything they're all from Amazon so it's linked and yeah I love you bye when they say she get it from her mama I'ma say you fuck her right your body do this bumper like a dummy in the home